listen, God bless you and keep you. It is uh, certainly um, good to be uh, coming before you one more time. Um, and Jesus Christ, uh, guess what I found out? He's still a friend of mine. He's still a friend of yours. He's still a friend that's sticking closer. They tell me they ain't your brother. And and glory to God, I know some of you probably got a lot of brothers. Some of you got uh, a lot of sisters. But uh, and some of you got a lot of siblings and, and whatnot, cousins and, uh, and different things. But listen, God sticketh closer than a brother. Hallelujah. Because it is the Lord himself who created um, the heavens and the earth. It is the Lord himself who uh, the Bible says is in him we live and move and have our very being Did you know that right now at Christ's rebuke if he wanted to at his rebuke this world dissolved right now God bullshit here by ya die did you realize that all things are being held together by the word of his power the earth itself sitteth out there in space a rebel show based off the word of his power but at his word as a rebuke <laughs> but we thank God that he's not going to do that We thank God that shall be a new heaven and new earth though Amen. man who's a builder and creator and maker is God And so I just pray God that you would be one of those ones Who are kind of worthy uh, to receive the inheritance and the saints in life Did you know that he's made us meet? He's, he's qualified us Those who believe on Jesus Christ Those who believe on his name Those who believe in his word Those who believe in the gospel, the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ He has qualified you you don't have to qualify yourself. No. See, if you're still trying to qualify yourself, then that's why you that's why you um, going to church uh, day after day and Sunday after Sunday, and you're feeling like you're not worthy, you feel like you're judged, you feel like you're not worthy because you're trying to live up to something. But when you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and, and this death, burial, and resurrection, now you understand, now according to Colossians, he's qualified you. To be partakers of the inheritance in the saints and light. And now what you must understand. What you must understand my dear. Is that now you don't have to go um, to prove a point. You don't have to prove that you're saved. You don't got to prove that you're anointed. You ain't got to prove that you're appointed. You ain't got to prove that you're called or uh, chosen of God. And you're already that. The only people who want you to prove something, go rebo shaka, are insecure folks who are insecure in their own salvation, religious folks, church folks, traditional folks, and they want you to keep trying to prove this and prove that. So now it's day after day, suddenly, suddenly you got to prove, the glory to God, you are who you say you are, the devil is a lie. The proof is at Calvary. The proof was at the him being wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes. My God, we are healed. Lord, don't give me the preaching now. Listen, I feel the glory of God in your life. I feel the power of God restoring you. You just gotta relax, baby. Yes, you guys gotta relax. You're in a bad situation right now, but relax. You're in a situation that seems impossible, but relax. That's a good place to be in though, because it is in those areas, it's in those spots in your life that God shows up and shows himself strong and I know that with man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. So you just got to rebel, shakaraba, relax in the power and the might of God and the favor and the grace of God because he's going to bring you out. My God is going to bring you out one way or the other. And you shall be delivered. You shall be set free. You shall be blessed. You shall be the righteous. You shall be the one that they prophesied about. A rebel shaka when it was all the churches gathered around and the prophet came in and prophesied to you and the prophet already told the people y'all don't want to hear this brother's word but I got a word for him anyway and he prophesied to you an unbelievable unforeseeable unthinkable prophecy in your life right now not even matching up with the prophecy that went out over your life but don't look at the right now but God sees the end from the beginning and he shall do a rebel shaka exactly what it said about you my God in here so relax baby Happy Valentine's Day to you. God bless you. Hope you got out. Got you some meal. Got you a steak. Got you some salmon. Got you some flowers. Got you some cake. Got you some candy. A rebel shaka. Maybe even got you a husband. I don't know what happened. But I do know this. That this is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad therein. Lord have mercy. I feel the anointing of God on me right now. To proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. And to proclaim his word. To the ends of the earth and I just want to pray with you 
that you will be blessed, healed, delivered, and set free. And I just want to uh, speak with you for a moment. Arebu shakarabaha on things yet to come. Um, those of you who know me, uh, God, God bless you. I'm representing Jalo Ministries, um, Evangelist Henry Lee. Um, you can find me on Spotify Podcast, your Apple Podcast. Um, got about five or six books out there. Author Tim McAvey Lee. You can find me on um, Barnes and Noble's online bookstore, Amazon.com. Glory to God, Google, whatever you want to do. Rebo Shaka. Just put the name in and uh, see what God is doing for his people. And not only that, I found out you got some books in you. Yeah, you do. You know what the Bible says in the book of John? The Bible says in the book of St. John, something very interesting, in the latter chapters around 2021, 20, perhaps maybe 1920, somewhere along in there. Don't, you don't trust me, get into the Word of God. I hope you do. But um, the Bible says something very interesting. John says something very interesting about Jesus. The Bible says, and many other signs, many other things that Jesus do, that Jesus did, which are not written in this book. But these are written that you might believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And that by believing, you will have life through his name. Now watch this now. He's saying that if it was, a, well, he also, later on goes to say, if it was to be written, all the things that Jesus did. He said that perhaps the world could not contain the books that should be written. <laughs> this is just a small sample size, my man. You might have just read about ten leopards. I can't tell you about the 10,000 other lepers that would get, perhaps got saved but simply because uh, we don't have time for all that. <laughs> we ain't got enough pen. We ain't got enough paper. We ain't got enough scrolls. We ain't got enough... We'll be right for the here to the end of time if we will tell you all the good things, all the things that the Lord has done. Don't think this is just is it now. And watch this. He keeps on doing great things for me. He keeps on doing great things for you. He keeps on bringing you out. Day in and day out. He keeps waking you up morning after morning, even though some don't believe, some ain't grateful, some ain't giving them thanks. So Rebo Shakarabaha. Irebasha. Woo! When you think about the goodness of the Lord sometimes, your soul, your soul rejoice. Have you ever had your soul rejoice? I understand sometimes you can go to church and you have your like your, your mouth be saying some things, hallelujah, and different things, but your mind is somewhere different, somewhere focused on something. But have you had your soul cry out? The way you just can't explain it and what's going on, but your soul all of a sudden, some leap within your soul, and you just had to give God some glory. It kind of what happened with Jeremiah. When Jeremiah said, Jer the prophet Jeremiah said this, he said, I, well, I, I, I will not preach, I will not teach in his name. I tried to be quiet, but it was like fire shut up in my bones, and I could not hold my peace. Sometimes you say, well, I'm not going to preach and teach no more. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, that fire will start rekindling. Glory to God. If you're God's man, you can't hide. If you're God's woman, you can't hide. If you got a ministry over your life, you can't hide, baby. It may, not be, it may be a long time since you've been thinking about even picking up a Bible. But you shall pick it up again. You shall see it again. You shall do it again, baby. Because the Lord makes no mistakes. If he's called you for his glory, then that's exactly what is going to get out of your life. Glory. God bless you and keep it. Listen, if it's a word, then I must have did it. And if it's not, then I wasn't with it. Please think of it.